Dear students, in this lecture we will discuss the phenomena of pair productions. As uh, during the collision, a photon can give an electron, uh, can give an electron all of its energy, like in a photoelectric effect, as we have already discussed, or uh, it can give only a part of its energy, like in a Compton effect. It is also possible for the photon to materialize into electron and positron, which is positively charged electron. Uh, uh, so this process is called as the pair production, in which photon convert into the electron positron pair. So uh, this process is also called as materialization of energy, that is conversion of energy into the matter. So here you can see that in the presence of nucleus a photon can convert convert can be converted into electron and positron here the electron has a negative charge that is q is equal to minus e and stress mass energy is m naught c square is equal to 0 0.51 mv and positron have have a charge Q is equal to plus E and its rest mass energy is equal to 0 0.51 MeV. So the rest mass energy of electron and positron is equal to 0 0.51 MeV. So the pair productions requires a photon of energy of at least equal to 1.02 MeV. So the combined rest mass energy of electron and positron is equal to the rest mass energy of photon, which is equal to 1.02 MeV. So here is uh, uh, according to the uh, conservation principles, no conservation principles are violated when an electron positron pair is created near an atomic nucleus. The sum of the charges of electron uh, and positron that is, uh, here you can see that the charge on the electron is minus e and charge on the positron is plus e. So the sum of the charges of electron and positron will be equal to zero and it is equal to the charge on the photon as the photon has zero charge. So the total energy including the rest energy of electron and positron equals to the rest energy of photon and linear momentum is also conserved with the help of nucleus, which carries away enough photon, enough photon momentum for the process to occur. As mm, the pro, uh, because of a uh, relatively enormous mass of the nucleus, nucleus absorb only a negligible fraction of photon energy. So energy and linear momentum could not be conserved if a pure production to occur in empty space. So uh, here we can um, prove that pure production cannot occur in empty space. As uh, mv is equal to m naught c square uh, H mu is equal to m, m of c square. H mu is the photon energy, and uh, here you can see that this uh, this is the direction of uh, photon uh, photon motion, and photon have uh, energy that is H mu. So uh, total energy. Uh, in the, in the total energy of each member of that is of electron positron pair here you can see from this vector diagram uh, that is the linear momentum of the photon 
and electron and positron the, there is the angle theta uh, is equal that in order to the momentum to be the con cons remain conserved in this direction that is in the hor horizontal direction here we will consider the horizontal direction so uh, h mu by c that is the momentum of photon that is equal to the 2p cos theta that is the momentum of electron plus positron that is h mu divided by c is equal to 2p cos theta so uh, by simplifying this equation it becomes like h mu is equal to 2p c cos theta and as that uh, p is equal to mv so uh, putting the value of uh, p that is equal to mv and multiplying and dividing it by c the equation becomes h mu is equal to 2m c square into mu by c of cos of theta so here in this equation uh, so h mu is less than 2m c square because v by c is less than 1 and so cos theta will also be equals to uh, will be equal to less than or equal to uh, 1 so but for the conservation uh, of the momentum energy requires m h mu is equal to 2 mc square so hence it is impossible for the pure production to conserve both energy and momentum unless some other object is involved to in the process to carry away the part of initial photon momentum so uh, presence of nuclear uh, nucleus is necessary for the product for the pure production to occur that as the nucleus carries away the some initial photon momentum for the process to occur so it is necessary for the conservation of energy and momentum the inverse uh, pro of the pure productions uh, process is called as pair annihilation that is this process occur when electron and positron uh, in electron and positron are comes nearest to each other and then is uh, come close together under the influence of their opposite charges so it produces the two gamma ray photons that is electron positron pairs combines and is produced to gamma ray photons and as electron and positron has the rest mass energy that is 0.51 mv plus 0.51 mv so both particle electron and positron vanishes simultaneously with the loss of uh, with the loss mass and is uh, with the loss mass and becomes the energy in the form of two gamma ray photons so this process is called as pure annihil annihilation that is uh, conversion of uh, that is the conversion of matter into energy and so and their total mass of the positron and electron that is equal to 1.02 mv so each photon and must have the energy equal to 0.51 mv so this process is called as a pure annihilation so here the important thing is that that no nucleus or other particle is needed for the pure annihilation to occur as in the case of uh, pure production we have seen that the presence of other particles uh, is necessary to carry away the some initial momentum of photon in order to conserve the momentum and energy but there is but in the case of pure annihilation there is uh, no need of other particles and so 
this process uh, can take place without any other particles so uh, thank you for watching